Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hotsosi and welcome back to another day in Minecraft without mining. Last time we were once again back there with our big 2x2 uh, two two tree farm project and I hinted we need something for the next part uh, and that is jack-o'-lanterns. So today we will build a farm for pumpkins. We do not need much and as we are doing the pumpkins we will also cover the melons. Uh, not sure if we will need those in the future but we have it anyway. And we are here on our agricultural tower uh, so uh, that's it. Typically um, you have these kind of farms with a lot of hoppers but I think uh, if you have about 50 hoppers uh, then that generates about as much lag as one hopper minecart so we will have only one layer here because we do not need much uh, and then we collect the pumpkins and the melon slices down here with a minecart. So let's figure that out first. One layer of rails later we have the collection system with the unloader here same as below. Um, however the chests are placed a bit differently this one we cannot access because we have a full block up there but we have another one down there into which everything is funneled. So next thing we need is figuring out the, the metal looks about right. Uh, then we will waterlock this one and then we can start placing dirt all around it and this will then be turned into farmland. All the seeds are sown and I did this in a pattern to have one diagonal row of pumpkins, one of melons, apparently this uh, is better for growing faster and the next thing we have to do is place a few pistons and a few observers. So wherever we have an empty farmland slot we will place a downward facing piston above that and then on wherever we have something planted we will have an observer um, looking down so that that will detect the changes in growth state uh, meaning uh, when they are fully grown and uh, they grow a pumpkin or a melon the stem bends to the end and that can be detected and that will then trigger the uh, harvesting mechanism uh, which we still have uh, to implement here. So this is a bit of, uh, of a tricky tricky thing to do because it needs the, fist, uh, the pistons need to place from down here, but then of course we have the uh, observers that are placed from above. So let me finish that layer and then we can turn our attention to the last one, which will make everything work as it should. With this layer also done, all that remains to be done is the last one and we will place solid blocks on the observer 
So the observer will uh, power the solid blocks and then in the gaps here we will have node blocks and those then will be powered by these blocks and they in turn will be will power the piston below and then all that needs to be done is have a bit of a wait until everything has grown and we can harvest and there you heard um, it already fired so that's a good sign which means it is actually working and with this here done i think what we shall do here on top is uh, slabbing this off making it uh, spawn proof and that should also prevent the node blocks from sounding all over um, which can be a bit um, annoying and then you see we have around our farm uh, uh, one block gap and that's because um, I have two not enough blocks here uh, because in this air gap I want to have a bit of glass uh, because when the piston fire the uh, melons and pumpkins they can drop anywhere and we should keep them uh, within the the farmland um, where they can actually be picked up so I will gather some glass uh, finish off the the slab roof there um, maybe also extend this a bit so we can go on top as you can see we are already harvesting things here from this farm uh, and uh, looking into it not everything has grown but there you saw how it works and in a bit that pumpkin will be picked up there it goes so this farm is working and in due time we should get the pumpkins that we need for the jack-o'-lanterns in next week's episode so don't forget to tune in then and see ya goodbye